If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard commentators and pundits use the term free pit stop. In this video, we will break down what is a free pit stop and understand how it impacts an F1 race. Let's get started. Free pit stops occur when there is a safety car or a virtual safety car. When a safety car is deployed during an F1 race, it enters the track in front of the race leader and slows down the field to a predetermined speed. This ensures that drivers are safe while the track is being cleared of any debris or damaged cars. During this period, the pit lane is open and drivers can enter and exit the pit lane without penalty. Laps under safety car conditions usually take 60% longer than a typical race lap. As an example, if a typical race lap took 100 seconds, under safety car conditions, the same lap would take 160 seconds, a full minute longer. A free pit stop refers to when a driver takes a pit stop under safety car conditions. Since the cars on track are going 60% slower, the driver who pitted during the safety car essentially gains time against his competitors who pitted under normal race conditions. Let's look at an example. Let's assume that driver A and driver B are racing each other neck to neck. Let's also assume that driver A is one second ahead of driver B. Now driver A decides to take a pit stop under normal race conditions. Assuming a pit stop costs the driver 20 seconds, he would come out 19 seconds behind driver B. Now the following lap, the safety car comes out on the track. Driver B now takes a pit stop and his effective time lost is not 20 seconds. Since the cars driving on the track are going 60% slower, driver B's effective time lost would only be about 10 seconds. So at the end of the pit stop, driver B would actually come out ahead of driver A with a fresher set of tires. This lucky circumstance is known as a free pit stop. Driver A lost out for no fault of his own. It was just bad luck. The safety car also bunches the drivers together. In this case, driver B would have an additional advantage because he would have fresh tires to attack the competitors in front of him who may or may not have had a free pit stop. Now let's quickly understand free pit stops under virtual safety car conditions. Under the virtual safety car, all drivers on track go about 40% slower than their regular lap time. This again allows drivers to take a free pit stop to take advantage of the slower drivers out on track. The major difference between the safety car and the virtual safety car is that the virtual safety car does not bunch the drivers together. When the virtual safety car period ends, the drivers maintain the gaps they had before the period started. This is assuming that no pit stops were taken. If you would like to learn more about the virtual safety car, I made a detailed video on the subject linked in the description below. Hope this video helped you learn about free pit stops in Formula 1. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.